So welcome to Akshara Education. Irozu manan chepukove topic ko velocity ratio. This is very very small topic, but it is very very useful. Man calculation chest the puru. Alagay basic especially gears concept man use the puru. The velocity ratio na di very very important. Asal velocity ratio ante anti velocity ratio formula anti. A calculation man ala chest the na di. E video lo man discuss chata. Now we have to move to the definition of velocity ratio. Right. So, we are having gear and pinion. So, velocity ratio on gear ratio on the So, velocity ratio of a gear is also called as a gear ratio. So, actually, we are having number of teeth. So, first, we have to calculate in the gear ratio. We need to calculate the number of teeth on the gear. So, you need to calculate the number of teeth on the gear. So, teeth on the gear. So, velocity ratio of a gear or in order to have in the calculation of your uh, gear ratio, velocity ratio or gear ratio. Yedi calculate chayala na. First man chayala sinne nite number of teeth. Number of teeth in ne calculate chayali. Number of teeth in basis ko ni. Abi gear me dekho na ya, pin me dekho na ya, choose ko ali. Right? Based on number of teeth and gear and based on number of teeth and pin yen, we are having the number of changes in turns. And the revolutions lo kora man ki atada osun de. So atada ne diela osdo man oxer discuss chadam. First of all, the definition of velocity ratio. Velocity ratio and into two hundred. So generally, gears are counted by its teeth. We already discussed. It. So gears and every man in just a man and with another teeth and butti count chasing than butti chiptam. And the ratio of the number of teeth and gear to the number of teeth and pinion is called as a gear ratio or its velocity ratio. The ratio of number of teeth and gear to the number of teeth and pinion. So gear me the any teeth sunai. Alagi pinion me the any teeth so nai, what ni character jesi than a ratio ne velocity ratio or gear ratio on the room. Right. Now we are moving to the uh, formula. So gear ratio is equal to number of teeth and gear to the number of teeth and pinion. Right. So formula is very clear. Number of teeth and gear to the number of teeth and pinion. Now the conditions. So you put e gear ratio nichi, one of the points in So what are those points? So depending upon the number of teeth of the driver and follower, the number of turns changes. Right? So number of teeth, Mikal Chipa, number of teeth and gear and number of teeth and pinion. So first one calculate your school. Gear me then it is so nay, like pinion me then it is so nay. So then what me then the teeth in butti, we have changes in number of changes in their turns. Right? Avela was the first condition. So if the driver has more number of teeth, Clear up the chain statement. If the driver has more number of teeth, then the follower turns more than driver. Very, very, very important statement. So Maloks are reached as the Jadka statement of the chain. If the driver has more number of teeth, so driver and more number of teeth. So gear me the suppose the number of teeth sequuna and kundi. Then the follower, that means the pinion, turns more than the Driver, a pinion a the equo rounds at a kusal theradanki chance on the three times three the driver a the one time theradanki chance on the putundi. Likewise, and matter it depends upon the number of teeth. Okay, calculation could a sort of one of example of a calculation this kunte making a easy got to open So, mono e video discuss chasing and enter first of all gear ratio or velocity ratio. Gear ratio and velocity ratio both are same. That is the first point. Now, what is the definition of gear ratio or velocity ratio? Number of teeth and gear to the number of teeth and pinion. So gear me the gani, pinion me the gani. First of all, you need to calculate the number of teeth. Number of teeth in calculate chase in the Then we are having changes in turns also. So okay, sir, okay, type will rotate above. So based on the number of teeth, the turns also changes. And the first condition in the if the driver has more number of teeth, so driver has more number of teeth, then the follower has more number of turns than driver. The first condition. Next, second condition in the day, vice versa. If the follower has more teeth, then the driver turns more than the follower. Simple opposite statement. Ante. So I don't think this needs explanation. So simply vice versa. In the case of driver has more number of teeth, unte, follower has more number of turns. And e case loop, if the follower has more number of teeth, then driver has more number of turns than followers. Right? Right. So, then you want to conclude in the first case. In the first case, if at all, if, if you're having low gear ratio, the gear ratio is very, very less, 
then you are having more speed. If the gear ratio is less, then you are having a more speed and less force. You need to carefully observe this point while you are calculating. That means in design process, this step is this observation is very much needed. This observation is very much needed. If the gear ratio is very, very less, so you are having more amount of the speed and less force. Are they gonna high gear ratio? Less speed on the more force on the so these two statements are very very important. Okay, fine. Now okay, example 30. Uh, we don't conclude chat. So you are having a gear. So figure is right gap the gear on the pinion on the so first step in Japan. So first step is we need to calculate number of teeth on gear and number of teeth on pinion. So, you could have pinion me the 18 teeth sunayana and gear me the 54 teeth sunayana. Careful of the chandy. So, figure lo gear on the pinion on the number of teeth and gear to the number of teeth and pinion. So, gear first step is you need to calculate number of teeth. Number of teeth and then calculate chandy. Number of teeth is uh, gear me the 54 on a number of teeth and pinion is 18. Now, we need to calculate gear ratio or velocity ratio. Mal gear ratio can velocity ratio can calculate chaman and conde. Simply, the velocity ratio, gear ratio is number of teeth and gear to the number of teeth on pinion. So, gear me the entity is 54, pinion me the entity is 18. So, the velocity ratio is 3 is to 1. Very, very important. If you have this case, we go condition in the column of condition discuss. A condition is good. If the driver has more number of teeth, if the driver has more number of teeth, then the follower turns more than the driver. A condition is apply. The driver is 54. 54 teeth to 9. Pinion me the 18 teeth to 9. So the ratio is 3 to 1. That means if you make a driver gonna go walk around and walk a turn three there, then the pinion means the pinion rotates three times. The speed is three times. This means the pinion is turning three times that of the work gear. Gear karna koda three times eku speed to rotate out on the other than meaning. So I hope you this understand this is very, very simple concept and very, very easy concept. Okay. So, Jagatika understand this kundi. The last two ratio or gear ratio both are same. So, formula is number of teeth and gear to the number of teeth and pinion. Right? So, e, e form, I mean, e gear ratio in Chimana. Kuni equation, I mean, Kuni parameters in a good bed course in Chipana, good bed kuna parameters could run on in Japan. So, ye then ke kua speed and a rotate out no e example but to my discuss. So, driver ke more number of teeth unte, follow the equus speed through. Are they follow the equus number of teeth unte, driver and the equus speed to rotate out. And they want a good pet cause and right, right. So, this is the video about your velocity ratio. And uh, thank you, thank you for your uh, valuable time for watching this video. Thank you.